So a fun trick you can do uses the juice. Now this is strawberry orange juice, uh, and you can use just regular orange juice as well, and it goes into the cup. Now, if I snap my fingers, what that does, that makes the strawberry disappear, and that leaves me with orange. Listen, guys, come on, seriously. I'm in the dealer's room at uh, Three Clubs Convention. Just saw Louis Fox's evaporation. It's freaking awesome, dude. It's sunny, delicious, awesome. What is the D stand for? D stands for DAMN! That was awesome. Like, that was really, it was really good. I created the evaporation gimmick. Uh, about a year ago, uh, in my show, I had a need to make liquid disappear. And what makes evaporation cool is you can actually handle the bottle. You can juggle it. Uh, it can sit on the table, whatever, you can knock it over, uh, and it won't spill as long as the lid's on it, uh, unlike what was currently on the market. And the reason I didn't use, for example, a milk pitcher is a milk pitcher didn't fit the style of my show. I do a more modern show, and so using something like a, like a milk pitcher wouldn't quite fit in. And besides, when was the last time you saw a milk pitcher anywhere besides a, uh, a magic show or holding just water? So, mine uses a juice bottle. And you can pour it into your fist, into a container, wherever. And the cool thing about this is you can pour it fast, you can pour it slow, anywhere in between, and then <laughs> the liquid disappears or turns to whatever you want. A couple of questions magicians always ask me about evaporation. They say, can you pour the liquid out? Yeah, you can do like the Shimada thing and gesture and spill liquid. Uh, you can pour some out before uh, the vanish as well. Uh, and then you can make the liquid vanish. And then afterwards you can pour liquid out as well. Hey, I just saw Louie's evaporation trick. Uh, I write books on creativity and I cre create a lot of tricks. This is brilliant. You need one of these. I'm Barry Mitchell.